Well, you hear doctors say it every year. Get your flu shot and get it early. And this flu season could be rough. There are some concerns about just how effective the vaccine that will be this year. And that got a KCTV5 viewer asking a good question. What is in the flu shot? Here's Joe Chiodo. Lots of people believe the flu shot is the flu virus being injected into your body. That's true, but there are a lot of other ingredients in the vaccine. Here's what I found out. Flu shots seem simple on the surface. I get my kids vaccinated every year just because it's preventative. In goes the needle, out comes a clear looking liquid that protects you from this. <laughs> I don't want to be sick. But when you take a step back and think about what all's inside, you realize the science behind it is anything but simple. Fatherly.com perhaps describes it best, calling it, quote, complex as hell. And they aren't wrong. The article says scientists gather the four most popular or effective influenza strains from around the world, inject them into fertilized chicken eggs or cells from another mammal, deactivate the virus, and then mix it. The vaccine varies year to year, but here's the basic list of what all gets mixed together. Influenza virus, formaldehyde, aluminum salt, chicken egg proteins, gelatins, antibiotics, sugar, a mercury-based preservative, stabilizers, and water. But the ingredients raise another good question. I used to hear that um, if you get the flu shot, it like makes you sick right away. Doctors say that's not the case. It is impossible. It is a dead part of a virus in the vaccine and it cannot cause any illness. Most common side effects we do see is feeling run down for a day after getting the vaccine because your body is building immunity. Now, as you likely know, there are two forms of the vaccine, the shot and the spray. The spray, however, does contain a live form of that virus, but doctors say it still should not make you sick. Joe Chiodo, KCTV5 News. Getting the shot does not mean you won't get sick at some point, but even if you do, your symptoms should be less severe. Have a good question you want answered? Just email joe at goodquestion at kctv5.com.